Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KeepAdger.com, here to bring you a little drill for your rifle that you can do at home at pretty much no cost. A while back, I did a video on what I called poor man drill. Basically, a drill you can run rifle or pistol, gives you a bunch of different reps at kind of some different things to include reloading and really low cost. You're using two rounds. Long story short, basically on whether it's pro timer, some sort of outside input, or you just say, hey, I'm gonna shoot right now. Bring the rifle up or pistol, break your shot, go to slide lock, conduct your reload, break a second shot. At that point, if you're gonna scan and assess, do whatever you're gonna do, do that, recover your magazine, come up, conduct attack reload, set the drill back up, you're ready to go. Pretty easy, only takes two rounds, get a lot of value, I feel, for those two rounds. But a buddy of mine asked me, living in a fairly unfree state, what's something I can do? What is basically, how can I train at home if I have something that may or may not be compliant with the state in which I'm living in? So this is how we can kind of tweak that drill and make it work. And you can pretty much get some reps for free in the comfort of your own home. What we're gonna end up doing is scaling our poor man drill. Now, we obviously have some limitations doing this in our bedroom, living room, anything like that. Neighbors will be pissed if we break off a round. So we're gonna make sure our weapon's unloaded, it's cleared, everything like that. We're gonna take an empty magazine, go ahead and insert this guy, bring it back, put our weapon on fire, and then whatever you're gonna be wearing, if you're wearing boxers, maybe you got a chest rack, you're gonna be drawn from that or you got a belt, war belt, anything like that. Here, I can basically draw from my waist right here. Ultimately though, what we don't have is that first shot. We're not gonna be able to get that because we're not gonna be able to magically have this thing locked back after we break a shot. So where we're starting from is breaking that first shot. I'm gonna go ahead, get a good sight picture, trigger to the rear, and to use my imagination, and say this thing just went to slide lock. At that point, we need to reload this thing. Whether you're going to put this on safe before you reload it, some schools of thought, put it on safe while you're reloading, whatever you're gonna do, ultimately, we need to reload this. I'm gonna go ahead and take my fresh magazine, slide it home. I'm gonna send the bolt forward, went home on empty chamber. How do I know this? Because I verified that was empty. At which point, I'm gonna present my rifle again. If I had put it on safe, it's gonna go back on fire. Aim back in at that light switch or photo on your wall and break the shot. Obviously, it's not gonna go off. But at that point, if I wanna work on searching and assessing, kinda of hard in the house, but you can do it if you want to. I'm gonna do that. And then I need to retrieve my magazine. Being aware of what's in front of me, I can either keep my muzzle pointed what would be downrange, or I can bring it up whatever your SOP is, ultimately end up retrieving my magazine. Hopefully you don't have snow in your living room floor. Bring the magazine out, conduct attack reload, get a little rep in there, go ahead and replace this magazine, at which point I can charge this again, at which point it's locked back on empty chamber, and I can go through this drill at speed, and I can keep working it. It's gonna look something like this. Hopefully you don't have snow. Now I'm set back up. Is this as good as live fire? Nah, probably not. But what it does allow is you to work on weapon manipulation skills if your rifle may or may not be compliant in the state that you're living in. Or if honestly, you just don't want to come out when it's really cold, windy, rainy, snowy, anything along those lines. It's a way that you can actually get some cheap weapon manipulation skills for very little cost. Basically just your time in the comfort of your own home. Hopefully this helps some of you. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.